Hello, it's me, Ben. I just wanted to say something. My, not my mom, well, somebody, hope you're doing well. Somebody told me when Trump got sick from what's going on, what's been going on since March, that they wish, I don't want to say it because it's on video, but they wish that something bad or should I say wish him ill? They wished him ill. Here's the thing about it. God says, the Bible says, that you shall not bear false witness, meaning, or you shall not judge others, that too. But um, So when people wish people ill, you should just, they should just, um, that is just as sinful, just as sinful, unfortunately, as... It would be for somebody's wrongdoings. Saying that you should pray to God and ask Him for forgiveness when you say things like that. Because it's up to God where people are going to go. Yes, Trump downplayed this epidemic, but it's not up to the people wishing them ill. They said that he, they hope he catches it. Their wrongdoings is for God only to decide but when i hear people say that you know you know what i wish and i hope and i pray that they could pray to god to ask him for forgiveness for saying that wishing people ill is basically a, a bad thing in the bible and the, that's breaking one of the 10 commandments of the holy bible also, when it comes to people wearing masks this year, I've seen many people in stores all over America, like Walmart and restaurants too. Stores and restaurants, some people do this, unfortunately. They don't wear masks, and then the employees get really mad at them, and then they start yelling at them. That too is committing adultery, which I just mentioned Um they're yelling. It's just like in the Bible, the Ten Commandment that says, you shall not disrespect your parents, which Jesus Christ was all for. He said that to his disciples. And as he was the God, the loving God, the Messiah, who I love so near and dear to my heart, he said, you shall not... Um, you shall not... Disrespect your parents. Well, the truth is when people yell at employees like that, like I saw a guy in, I think it was Houston, Texas, the other day, who yelled, or somewhere, I can't remember, it might have been in Houston, yeah, but you probably saw that video where he wasn't staying safe, and the lady, she was good, good for her, wearing the mask who worked at Subway, said, I'm not going to give you any food, right? The sandwich thing. Well, when he yelled at her, she was doing the right thing, but he disrespected her, just like when you disrespect your parents. Um, he's God's going to take him to the gates of hell, to Lucifer's kingdom for all eternity. I'm not judging him, but I'm just saying the guy who didn't stay safe, who disrespected her, is not going to go to heaven unless... He asked Jesus Christ to forgive him of his sin that day at lunch. He was grabbing his sandwich. He was hungry, I get that. But he shouldn't be disrespecting selfish people. That's why I always talk about John Lennon's Imagine. If we had a perfect world, I wish we did, we wouldn't have a government who does bad things, you know. Uh, um, you know, Trump also is probably not. He's disrespected 400 million Americans on a 24-7 since March. God said you shall not lie. He tells lies every single day. Um, and God has a special place in Lucifer's kingdom for, unfortunately, you know who. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to get into his, him and what he does, but I'm just saying that he held up the Bible during the um, or, or, or inequality, sinful nature day 
in the Capitol in front of a church. Bad man, good book, real book. Person that does, wrote, the person that did it was in Rome, um, and he got, he, he wrote it from Jesus. 2,020 years ago in present day Israel, um, about how you should obey when you're here on earth living. The Bible says you shall not break the Ten Commandments. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, it was a bad man who's the commander. I, I just won't say that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Commander-in-chief who, who was holding up a good book, but he is a bad person who disobeys it. When I say it, I mean the Bible, the book that you should obey when you're here on earth. The people down the street that day who, and also the police officers who did, I'm just saying, I don't mean to say it, but who did what they did too were sinning when they had that, um, you know, that smoke. I'm just going to say the smoke. I don't want to say what it was because you know what it was, you remember on the people that were still made from God, um, that were the races, or I should say, human beings made from God that just so happens that they are a little bit, um, have a little bit different of a pigment, a pigment, than, than um, people like, look at myself, have, okay, they just so happen that they were from a, brought from a different part of the world. They're human beings, just like us, um, into this part of the world. When the Reverend in the 1960s had his, should I just say, quote, I quote, dream speech, end quote. You know who I'm talking about. And who died this year that was a human being for any human being um, all loving, or no, I should say, people disagree with him. His um, initials are J.L. J.L. And you know who that is, right? His name was John. Not to quote the Bible, John. But, I mean, I'm not going to get into who knows what he believed. However, some people don't believe him. They're also sinning, okay? Good people are the ones who, I mean, if you, if you say your prayers every night and ask God for forgiveness, then he will forgive you unless you do something intentional. Um, I believe that the people that did that that day are not going to go to heaven when they die because they were simply using a thing that is unfortunately that is breaking one of the Ten Commandments of the Holy Bible that day in the Capitol, which is, you shall not murder, okay? God says, if you believe and love God, which I do, with all my heart and soul, that if you do something that is against that commandment, okay, in the Holy Bible, that you're, unless, even that, you can't ask him for forgiveness. If you take another person's life, you automatically are not going to go to heaven when you die. You go to hell, okay? Sadly, there are so many people in America right now, or in this country right now, that are disobeying God, and it's sad. It sucks. Um, and with the case of the mask wearing, people... This is a, um, a natural disaster. However, the people in China that did this, the communists, why does, we talk about why does God allow communism? Well, it's because of free will. People can do what they do. However, and I'm not going to get into this, but the people in China that did this pandemic since March aren't going to go to heaven either when they die. That Xi Jinping guy over there who did this, they think, is going to go to the gates of Lucifer's kingdom when he dies, unfortunately, because he has murdered one million people worldwide every day, 
during this crisis since March, God's going to take him to hell. You can't murder, which falls back to the commandment, you shall not murder. You shall not take another person's life. And I believe that. If, you're gonna, if you take another person's life, even your own, the Bible says any life, um, you automatically go to hell, to Lucifer's kingdom, and live and um, be eternally punished with Satan, the devil, when you die, which is true. I mean, if I took my own life right now, I'm not going to, sadly, not. I wish I'd never, I'm never going to do that. Come on. I love everybody, including myself, but I'm not selfish either. But I'm just saying that God loves you, okay? Jesus loves you. He loves you so much unconditionally. Um, he brought you into this world under your mom's womb, okay? He loves people. Um, he doesn't love people that disobey him, you know, disobey all his commandments, you know. Um, yeah, and Joshua, that's another thing, quote, Luke, Joshua, David, John even, John the Apostle, um, these are all quotes that were written in the Bible. The Bible is a law book, okay? Quote unquote law book, which means um, it's like a law book that you abide by. You know who one of my favorite people in the past century, um, not century, in the past 30 years was? Mr. Rogers of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You know why I like him so much? Because he always taught the neighborly ways. His show was all about people to teach kids, um, preschoolers, but it was my era, but he's a great, great human being. I watched his movie last year when it came out with Tom Hanks. He was a one-of-a-kind human being. In fact, when I went to the movies, this was before the Chinese brought this thing illegally under God, into our planet this year, which is going to be gone. But when he came, I mean, when I watched the movie, people were crying. They were having tears down their eyes for Mr. Rogers because he was about as close to Jesus as we have ever seen. Jesus was a real thing. Don't think that he was fantasy. He was very real. Um... Think about it. You're in this world. You wouldn't be in this world if it wasn't for him, okay? He's the reason that you were born out of your mother's womb. It's because of Christ. Human beings, are, we're all here because of him. Um, you know, Jesus loves us, and he wants us to do our best. He tests us when we're here on earth. He is testing us right now to see if we're going to love each other. Now, the healthcare workers worldwide since March that have saved lives are going to heaven when they die. They don't stand, they don't like communism. Here at home in Winston-Salem, we have some over at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. In fact, they are part of the reason why we're doing what we're doing. Um, it's a great thing. I love it. Um, However, the people that are, have done this in China are not going to go to heaven. Miss, back to Mr. Rogers, okay? Mr. Rogers was a kind human to everybody. Even a monkey liked him, okay? There was an episode of a gorilla where his, his um, yeah, friend brought a gorilla onto his show, and he used this, sign language, which means to Mr. Rogers, I love you. Um, he was a, I wish they had mentioned that in the movie last year. I wish they could have shown that scene um, with Tom Hanks, but they, they didn't. I don't know why they should have, though. But anyway, he was a good, good person. Um, I love him. I miss him. I wish sometimes that more people would be love thy neighbor, which the Bible said to love thy neighbor, okay? Um, unfortunately, in today's world, because of social media and everything, see, Facebook, CNN, all this other stuff, sadly, it's gotten worse. And I know 
for a fact that even during this uh, epidemic, um, Mr. Rogers, Fred Rogers himself of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood on PBS in my day, who I loved, who I miss, would have been so sad. And as well as all the things that are going on with the um, people believing that others... Um, races are more superior than theirs would be so sad but he would also but he would also teach children just like he said in that one episode about Ronald Reagan you know if you see something in the news look for the helpers they will they're always helpers this is no different even in 2020, there, yes, while social media might be a thing that's bad, there are helpers in this world still, even today, like the perfect example I just made of the healthcare workers, you know. Look for the helpers. They are always there. Um, you know, when I talk about the inequality, George Floyd, you know, the incident in up there and out there and, you know, Minneapolis is in heaven. I, I mean, people like that who don't mean anything, even though he did a bad thing, even though he did a bad thing, I guarantee you that God forgived him when he walked into that convenience store that morning, that day, back in June, and um, he did the wrong thing for whatever reason. I don't know if it was COVID or he's a, he was a human being. He, he um, was a good person, but I'm just saying that when he did that, you know, he, I'm sure that um, the minute he left before, he, unfortunately, he died, um, I'm sure that God looked at him and said, you're forgiven, you're forgiven. I really do think that. And I think that God said that, um, unfortunately, the person who did what he did to him, and he said, you're going to come with me. You've done okay. You did all right. He was a, you're a good man, which he was. You were. And so you're, even though you did this, you did nothing wrong. But the guy who did what he did to him is not going to go to heaven. That Derek guy probably won't go to heaven, even though he did what he did. I'm sure that he's going to heaven. The people that came out, um, there was another one last night, I think, in maybe Wisconsin. I forget where, but there was another thing. The people who steal, I'm just going to say steal. You shall not steal either. The Bible says you shall not steal um, the people who stole when they broke illegally, broke the windows unlawfully, loot, riot, whatever, um, you know, that's also a Ten Commandment of the Holy Bible, of the Christian Bible, the New Testament, the Old Testament, because you shall not murder, you shall not commit crimes, you shall not disrespect all the stuff that we've been going over here. But back to what I was saying, um, you can't wish people ill, you know, even though they did. That's for God to decide, but you should pray and say your prayers and ask him for forgiveness. Now, when the people do illegal things, <clears throat> while I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, while I'm not, um, bless me, while I'm not, um, you know, judging them, I do believe that people who do those things aren't going to go to heaven unfortunately when they die and it's a sad thing it's tragic that there's so much sin hate especially now more than ever in 2020 in the world and this pandemic i'm just gonna say is um natural but it's also evil in the eyes of god of what china did just like well I'm not going I don't mean to say this but it's just like when you know our country here in the United States our wonderful country what they did when they you know well attacked 
our America, when Osama, I don't mean to say this, but I'm just going to, but when Osama bin Laden did what he did on 9-11, that was a sin of God also, and he's in hell. I mean, there's pretty much, I know there is proof that he's in hell. Heaven is the outer space above outer space. It's a real place, okay? You go there when you're good. Only good people go to heaven. I think I'm going to heaven. I know that for a fact. Uh, and even when I do something, yeah, I make mistakes, but I always ask God for forgiveness, okay? When people do bad things, they don't go to heaven, unfortunately. It's because people are selfish. That's where I talk about the John Lennon song, Imagine. Human beings are selfish animals, selfish creatures, that um, unfortunately they are. It's a sad reality. It sucks. It's a 0% chance we'll ever be a utopia, unfortunately, which it sucks. But I've had these conversations before with my father and mother. They've gotten mad at me for preaching my beliefs. I shouldn't disrespect my elders, my parents especially, but I've prayed to God for forgiveness, but I do believe some things that they don't believe, um, which are good things. I'm proud of it. I'm not delusional. I'm a good person, a great, wonderful human being. I'm proud to love God. So anyway, that sums it up right there. The world is a sinful place, especially this year in 2020. But um, God bless you. God's going to take good care of you during the sinful nature of the Chinese people who did this. And God's going to have justice. He's going to have karma and justice for these people. I know that for a fact. They're not going to go to heaven. And God knows that a vaccine is coming. He, he, he knows, all right? This is all biblical stuff, and I love it. I love preaching the gospel, the truth. And God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Live it like God gave this day to you. God gives you every day, um, every single day. And don't disrespect your elders during this. Be kind to them. When they say you can't come without because you're not wearing a mask into the store or whatever, don't fight them because God's watching. Um, and if if you do die from this pandemic, which... I hope you don't because I know this for a fact that God has a plan, but he has a plan that's bad for the um, Chinese Xi Jinping who did this. Um, he's not going to go to heaven. People like that. And Trump, I'm not sure. He might go to heaven. He might go to hell. It's for God to decide. But anyway, stay safe. I love you. And God bless you. Peace. Have a blessed day, everybody. That's my rant. Thanks. Bye-bye. God bless.